Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Eagles 360, presented by Xfinity. Carson Wentz will take the starting reps at quarterback when the players reconvene on Wednesday at the NovaCare Complex. A short time ago, as the players were in the building for meetings, we got their reaction to number 11 getting the midnight green light to play this Sunday against the Indianapolis Colts. As Lane Johnson says, the sheriff is back in town. Feels good. I know he's been waiting for a long time, so, man. Really can't explain it, but uh, you know, been waiting for this for a long time. The way, the way I think it's going to go, he'll, he'll go back, hit the ground running. I mean, he looks, I mean, he looks stronger than maybe he even did last year. Just all that work in the weight room, rehab, and stuff. I mean, he's his arm may be stronger than what it was last year, just from what I've seen. Mobility wise, he's running around looking good. So I know he's excited. I just got to protect him. Good things will happen. Thanks. Can you tell what this means for the city to have Carson back on the field? I get that energy back, get that swagger back. I mean, we know what kind of player he is, more of a you know a leader in the locker room for us. So uh, when he's out there doing his job, uh, just energizes the whole team. I'm right, really excited. You know, obviously, like I've always said, we've been blessed to have two great quarterbacks in Carson and Nick. You know, we get Carson back, and I'm just excited to just uh, you know play some football. See, he's the guy's gonna go out there and he's gonna make those those plays, you know, those wild plays, but at the same time, he's also a guy who's going to go out there and uh, um, be a smart player. He's going to go out there and he's going to, he's, he's our leader of our team, you know what I mean? And that's what you expect for him to be. I think a lot of things um, with people, you know, saying Carson's coming back and, you know, they, they think he's just going to be, uh, he's going to go 40 for 40, you know what I mean, on, on passing. But I think I think the biggest thing for us as a team, um, what we're most happy about is that we have our leader back. You know what I mean? That's that's it. I mean, he's the leader of our team, leader of our offense. Um, you know, I'm excited for him. Obviously, you know, he's had a long road to recovery. Um, you know, ACL tears, any type of knee injury. Um, you know, it's a whole process and everything. So I'm finally happy that he's healthy, um, and he can be back a, a part of a, the team out there, competing. I know the competitor he is, and I'm I'm looking forward to seeing him uh, throughout the week and see what he does. First of all, we're, you know, we're really excited that Carson is back and I know that he's worked extremely hard, um, you know, with his medical team and, and on his own and a lot of, you know, um, solitary hours trying to get himself ready and prepared to play. So it's exciting to have him back. And, um, you know, I know he's anxious to get out there and we just want to get him back in the game first. Wouldn't want to talk about any kind of expectation level for uh, the way we expect that he's going to play right now. Um, he's done a tremendous job. The number one job the quarterback is, is to lead his team to victory. So. Um, that's where it all starts and ends. And I think that uh, if you were to ask him what he wants to improve on, I mean, there's probably little nuanced things that he feels that he could get better at. He has tremendous command of the system right now and, and the way he sees us operating offensively and the way uh, you know we'll do it when, when he's in there. He's got a real vision for how he wants to play the game and he's communicating that and articulating that both with us and, and the guys around him. So it's, it's good to have him back. Carson Wentz can help an offense that has just five explosive plays all season long, three of them coming through the air. However, Wentz isn't playing defense. The Eagles allowed Ryan Fitzpatrick to throw for 402 yards and four touchdowns on Sunday. Defensive coordinator Jim Schwartz was not happy with his unit's sloppy performance. We didn't execute very well on a 75-yarder. A lot of different layers to that. It's never one person's fault. But um, then we did, also didn't tackle well. I think that, that, that you know, first play is probably off of that because we never laid a glove on him. But the second play, we had chances. And uh, we didn't look like ourselves a lot of times. There were some times where running backs and wide receivers were dragging us for, you know, two and three extra yards. And you generally don't see that from us. We need to get back on track to playing physical football and tackling well. Didn't play like ourselves. I didn't play like myself. You know what I mean? Uh, just, you know, critiquing myself. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't. The, the the guy that you know you usually see out there making plays on the ball. Technique issues, a uh, couple of my things uh, as far as you know my eyes and uh, I mean as far as that goes, those are very easy fixes. The Eagles made a roster move involving a wide receiver on Tuesday. Running back Josh Adams was promoted from the practice squad while DeAndre Carter was waived. Adams might be needed on Sunday due to the injuries to Jay Ajayi and Darren Sproles. Uh, it's a blessing. Uh, it's a blessing and uh, a great opportunity. Uh, obviously, I'm excited, but at the same time, I got to continue to do what I've been doing, which is going out there and practice and continue to make myself better and try to help the other guys get better. It's time to look ahead in our On the Menu, presented by Amoroso's. 
Quarterback Carson Wentz will address the media at 11.45 a.m. tomorrow. We will bring that to you live on PhiladelphiaEagles.com, the Eagles app, and our social media platforms. And for a complete recap of the day on Eagles 360, presented by Xfinity. Until then, I'm Chris McPherson, wishing you all a great Eagles night.